said it, it's yet another Shaco build. Decay is a forgotten support gem. This adds a chaos damage over time effect to the supported skills. Unlike other dots, it's not an ailment, nor does it have the spell damage exception other dots have. This makes scaling the gem kind of strange. Decay is only increased by global damage, global damage over time and multi, chaos damage, and chaos dot multi. It does inherit any multiplier from the supported skill, but most skills specifically mention hits or ailments, which decay is neither. Traditionally, the best enabler is Stormburst with its duration scaling, but the gem rework brought another choice you can do, Infernal Blow of Immolation. This version of Infernal Blow stacks the debuff on yourself instead of on enemies. Stacks are gained once per attack, extra strikes and repeats don't help at all, but the strikes do increase your effective range. Each stack deals a percentage of base damage scaling off level and quality. This makes Ashes scale it very well. This percent base damage X is a more multiplier for Decay, giving it around 500% more damage at max stacks. Even with a level 35 Decay from a Shaco, Decay's damage is still quite low. This needs every bit of damage it can get. To do this, we use two large Chaos Clusters, Spiritual Aid, plus a minion damage Elegant Hubris, adorned with Chaos Dot Multi Magic Jewels, and most of the Int Nodes are tattooed into Chaos Damage. Since we're scaling Chaos and Dot Multi, and we don't need a 6 link, we can use a Death Oath as a body armor. Death Oath is a bit weird. The stats on the item don't make much sense, but oddly enough, they're all used on this build. We really only care about the Death Aura skill, which is a Dot Aura. It is scaled by gems in the item, and they don't need to be linked. Occultist is the obvious choice here for Chaos Scaling. Profane Bloom and an Extra Curse definitely don't hurt. An SNS Touch with a Despair on Hit Corruption gives us Profane Bloom Chains, which help us clear. But since we lost an Extra Strike on Gloves, we have to use Ancestral Cry on a Call to Arm setup. Okay, I lied. This isn't a melee build. This is just a really bad Death Oath build. I greatly underestimated how strong Death Oath and Profane Bloom is together. This clears almost everything with just shield charge. Originally, I wasn't going to use Ass and Ass, but instead a Bane setup with Hex Bloom. This does about the same effect, but it's a lot laggier. Infernal Blow is only used for single target. Decay's damage is not terrible, but not that great either. It's about on par for normal Chaos Dot, which isn't that great if you take into account the investment I put into this. It also has the unneeded disadvantage of being melee. It needs attack speed and extra strikes to even feel good, and its explosion range isn't even that big. Decay's duration is decently long, so it's more of a hit and run kind of playstyle. The defenses aren't really there. I did get ailment immunity, but there's not much layers outside of a steel skin and some elusive. Death Oath also has a self degen mechanic in it, which makes recovery just annoyingly worse. I am going to start mentioning my budget in these builds. I have noticed the community seems to misunderstand the cost of making meme builds. 10 to 20 divines is more than enough for most builds, even less if you know how to craft at a basic level. But since this is the last build of the league, I had money to burn. So this took about 40 divines in total. But most of the gear was reused from previous builds. All in all, this was not worth the cost at all. I will also leave some crafting notes in the POB if you do want them. I am not sure how I'm going to rate this build. Profane Bloom gets a 10 out of 10, as it single-handedly carried the clear. I now know why people still play Death Oath builds. You could probably brute force anything with just Profane Bloom and as an ass though. But I'll give Decay itself 3 out of 10. It just needs a numbers buff. I gave it as much damage as I could find, and it's barely passable. Its unique scaling is an interesting build challenge, but it's just lacking pure numbers. Infernal Blow of Immolation was a unique decay trigger for sure, but it does have other uses that could also be other builds. Specifically, it has a weird interaction with Mirages. Another thing to try at a different time. But that's about all for this one. I am done with Necropolis. I had a few build ideas I didn't execute on. Would you be interested in a video going over them? Also, if you missed it, I made a video on Blade Blast of Unloading, but YouTube showed it to no one. So it's here in case you missed it.